I am back and ready to f frack? No, 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 that doesn't work. Oh, I see you finally made it. Get sidetracked along the way, enjoying the sights. The whole planet is going to look like this soon, so you'd better get used to the scenery. Where's Verena? She stepped outside. I'm afraid you'll be dealing with me in her stead. Okay, listen up, you waste of plastic. We're done with your games. We tried playing nice with you, but from the second you showed up, you've been nothing but bad news. You've threatened our town, tried to turn Glyph into a mindless killing machine, and you made Beaverly cry. You don't actually care about Verena's agenda, do you? You're just using her as an excuse to be a bully, just like Paula. Well, no more. We're here to see Verena, and if you've got a problem with that, then quit toying with us and put up a fight. So I take it you'd like to do things the hard way, as I say? If you won't stand aside, then so be it. Very well then. All right, what do you got for me, Javis? Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Javis Show. I'll be your host tonight, Lord Javis. Why? Please welcome our very special guest tonight, Pink One, Ears, Claire, and Stripes. We have names, you know. No, you don't. This is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Have you looked in the mirror lately, you overgrown stuffed animals? Hey, that was unprofessional. Can we get a producer in here to tell this guy off? I'll allow it, actually. Verena. Verena, we've been looking for you. Do you think we could have a moment to... Uh-uh-uh. Let Chavis have his fun. Thank you, my queen. Your patience and generosity are unrivaled. Now then, on tonight's game show, we're going to be playing a little game. You could perhaps call it some kind of show game. God damn it, Javis. Your fucking naming sense, bro. We have two pairs of romantic partners. They will be required to answer questions about objection. What now? We, uh, Jody and I aren't dating? Jody? Stripes. Wait, you're not? Yeah, no. I mean, we go way back. We're like best friends and roommates, but we're not dating. I tried to tell him. No interjections from the audience, please. That must be so difficult for you, Claire. Being a captive audience for those two and their public displays of affection, well, you're pathetically alone. Actually, I was just started seeing someone recently. Her name's Beaverly, and... Yes, 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 yes. This is very nice, Claire. Apologies for the technical difficulties, folks. It appears we'll be playing with just one team. However, these two are the ones you should be most interested in anyway, as they're the Cretans using magic stolen directly from our queen. What exactly is the point of all of this? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, they're roommates. <laughs> You horrible little creatures prattle on about your motivated by things like love and empathy. But those are just filthy lies. Whether you're lying to us as part of some ruse or lying to yourselves, I haven't decided yet. But either way, you disgust me. So, today, we're going to put these claims to the test. When you lose this little game, well, you're in a room filled with so-called monsters who hate you. You understand, I'm sure. And as a bonus, your public humiliation here will make for excellent morale boost for the troops before we reclaim your magic and conquer reverie. Yes, crush their spirits like they crushed mine, father. Now then, in a stalling, question one. This is for the pink one. Ears has a poster for a certain musical group on the wall in her distressingly tiny domicile. What is its name? Ah, oh, fuck me. I actually looked at this poster. I'm always so bad when games do these kinds of quizzes. 
I'm tempted to go with the as a bit. Um, let's go with the ideas here. Uh, correct. Wow, I'm impressed you were able to read that Grindcore band logos, Mel. Yes, I picked up a thing or two from you. Cease this floating at once before I'm forced to deduct your point. How are we keep track keeping track of points? I don't see a square board. I'm keeping score mentally. That doesn't seem optimal. Oh, don't worry. I am much smarter than you. Get her ass, father. Teenagers, am I right? Only 15 days old, and they're already so full of such colorful language. I thought you said no interjections from the audience. My boys have special VIP tickets that grant them outburst privileges. Question two! This one is for ears. What is the pink one's natural hair color? I know she dyed some of it, but I don't remember if white was her natural or if this is a trick question. I'm going to go with white. Easy, it's white. Correct. I suppose that's not surprising. You're probably a very superficial person who only pays attention to surface details like that. Is that why you feel the need to dye your hair, pink one? No, I just think it looks nice. Can't blame her for being a fan of hair dye. That stuff's delicious. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind, rewind. Clinston, Clinston, Clinston. Spit it out. Spit it out, Clinston. Stop eating the hair dye, Clinston. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I do not believe that you're supposed to drink it, brother. Oh, I guess I'm just kind of a rebel like that. Admirable. Moving on. The next question will be for... Pink one. I bet being in front of an audience must be really getting under your skin as a shy little introvert. Isn't that right, pink one? Eh, not really. Question three. Pink one. What is your social security number? Sorry, but nah is not an acceptable answer. I'm afraid that is incorrect. Lame. I wanted to know. What could you have even done with that. What kind of girlfriend didn't even remember her social security number? Am I right, years? Come on, man. Really? Okay, well, what are you miscreants up to? Did you receive insider information before the show? Are you doppelgangers of some sort? What are you talking about? You two have been fighting with each other. Why aren't you fighting? Oh my god, is that what this is about? What worked all that out, dude? We're doing great. Better than ever, I'd say. Sorry if that ruins your show. No, 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 no! I don't have to take this from a bunch of fake warriors in cheap Halloween costumes. What's a Halloween costume? Oh, come on! Ugh, this is all wrong! That's right, show's over! Everyone back to your posts. Disappointing. Most disappointing. Farewell, Harry! Fine. No more games. I was trying to go easy on you, you know. I have been this whole time because Verena wants you alive. Were it not for her orders, your precious little town would have been a smoking crater before we even had a chance to meet. But if you're all so eager to throw your lives away, then so be it! Perhaps the problem is that you've forgotten who you're dealing with. Let me remind you. I am Lord Jabez. Court Mage of the Varena Empire, and for the good of the Queen, I will annihilate you. Wait, why is there like walls around our battle area? We were kind of on a like wide open podium. Anyway, all right. No idea what he's gonna do, so let's start with our usual openers. Do a little bit of smooching, do a lot of bit of smooching. Um, let's put some scrap armor on everyone, just in case he does AoE damage. Probably does AoE damage. Holy fuck! Okay, he did not deal AoE damage that time. 
Um, we're gonna throw on Resilient Aura just in case we get hit with some debuffs to make sure to try and make them not stick. All right, Claire, you can do a bit of burninating as a treat. Jody, your turn to do some smooching. And I hope you get hit so I can do a crack the armor. But actually, no, I need to do a faith barrier so everyone has barrier. Um, Melody, all right, now everyone has buffs, armor, we can heal everyone. Allison, keep on swinging, Daryl. Um, we will do an attack boost. And taunt. All right. Doesn't look like he has a ton of health. I feel like he's going to be a two-phase boss, though. You didn't think that was all I had at store for you, did you? I think again. Is he creating corrupted copies of my characters? That's rude. That's copyright infringement. You can't do that. Hmm. I mean, I guess I go Lovely Aura to hit 5, Allison can Blast Beat back to back. Um, let's go with Scorch, Jody can... Yeah, I guess, I guess we kiss Faith again, just to make sure you get 2 star power. Now, really, I'm attacking Jody, and that's kind of putting a crimp in my plans, so I'll tell you what. Oh, oh, of course they have chance to do du double barrier, or uh, full barrier. Wait, hold on, you had a glitch Jody, how did you have faith? You monster, you tricked her! Alright, we want to spread the love, Allison can then... Do a little bit of stabbing as a treat. We refresh the attack boost. Jody cracks the armor. Wow. All right, let's refresh resilient aura. Allison can hit the blast beat, drop it like it's hot. And Claire can go with the ignition. Jody. Drop a barrier on Claire. Make sure Claire doesn't get gibbed. Boom! Good shit. Shit's good. How about we mix things up? Oh, now he's going to summon, like, two of them. Oh, he's summoning a glitched Allison. Entered Aston. Nope, not resilient. Lovely Aura. All right, Allison, I need you to kill your doppelganger. Welcome on by, Lizzie Bit. Oh, hope you're having a fantastic evening. Playing Haven? Ooh, I haven't heard of that before. I hope you had some fun. But, I know streaming some hard work. So, at the very least, you should take a break. You know, go leave a piss. Take a water. I'll still be here, but you should absolutely do a little bit of stretching. Take care of yourself. <laughs> oh, welcome on by, Zyber. Uh, we might be getting into the end of Slar PG. This seems like a... Uh, 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 the boss fight before the final boss fight. You know, we're fighting the, the head, the general of the Queen Verena's army. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. No problem. I, it's certainly, like, I, I will, I will, I will rapidly evangelize. Like, Slur PG is a fantastic game to play, and I highly recommend if you have it. Please, please, please give it a chance. Pick it up. Check it out. Um, like, this is made 
in in RPG Maker. This is an RPG Maker game. <laughs> this is the most well-made RPG Maker game I have ever come across. I hope y'all have a fantastic night. Um, thank you for stopping on Bry and bringing your people to the spy. Actually, let me see if let's see let's see if my last changes to this work. Um, do do do, and this button. Fuck! All right, it didn't work. I still have to do it manually. Anyway, yes, I agree. Those last two were rather underwhelming. Let's bring out your dear leader. Oh no, they have a healer now. Wait. They brought out Claire. <laughs> oh, you fool, you absolute buffoon. The wizard's not the leader, it's the Paladin! They have charisma as their stat. Like, come on, bruv. All right, Claire. Uh, this feels a little bit weird, but I need you to attack yourself. Uh, Jody, re-up taunt for all the good it's gonna do me. Over here, dummy. Blam. All right, I need to do a bit of refreshing. Um, don't want to waste Blast Beast. We'll just attack normally. We will attack boost Allison. Jody can crack the armor on Javis. Keep that armor down. Oh shit, that was an avalanche. Damn! Alright, we need a lovely aura. Um, this should finish off Weird Claire. Our Claire can Frost Javis. Jody. Actually, hold on. Let's have Claire do a smooch and Jody do a smooch. Just so everyone's stats are buffed. And we'll do a round of big beeps. Wait, Javas takes control of the party. Oh, that's bullshit. That was a fuck ton of bullshit. But unfortunately for you, Javas, you done goofed up. You goofed up. You have goofed up now. Uh, let me drop a Scorch, or let's drop a Jolt, just in case, while well, she cracks the armor. That way, next turn, I might need to attack boost. Ugh, fine, I have no choice! The soft pink one it is. Ah, fuck, he's gonna try and heal. Alright, let's spread the love to Allison. Allison, I need you to... Low kick, glitch melody. Claire, I need you to... Avalanche. And Jody can... Crack the armor. Let's try and one cycle this, so it doesn't have a chance to heal. Well, we sort of did it. All right, we need to top off Jody because Jody is getting a little bit low concerning me. But we might finish Javis off this round, presuming he doesn't have a second form. Ugh. No, I won't allow this. This is a 
Fluke, I can't let Verena down now. First you hurt my precious sons, and now this? Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Everything was going to according, according to plan. It was all perfect. Why did you insufferable beasts have to go and ruin it? Time to tap out, Javis. You're done. You're in no shape to keep fighting. Don't you dare speak to me in that tone, you! Need I remind you who's in charge here? Oh, I know who's in charge. Got my orders straight from her. Hey, losers. She's ready to see you at the summit. Please, ask her if I can have another chance to redeem myself. I know that if I... Quit embarrassing yourself, man. You knew the deal. We're just the opening acts. Now it's time for the headliner. Fine. I'll be making a tactical retreat at Verena's request. But don't think it's over, you... All right. Gotta climb the summit. And let's make sure to not forget to save. All right, a little bit of hydrating. A little bit of stretching. Well, this is it. A point of no return. Once we meet Verena up there, there's no turning back. Whatever happens, happens. We better be ready for anything. Proceed? Hell yeah. So it is you. I was hoping it would be you. The most direct inheritors of my magic reverie has seen in a thousand years. I must admit, you puzzled me back at Javis's little show. I was expecting something different. But I suppose that doesn't matter now. Verena, listen. We're not here to fight you. We just want to talk. Please, you're going to bore me to tears. We learned some things about your history on Reverie. We know it wasn't always like this. It doesn't have to be this way. Oh, really? How exactly did you learn about my past? We're not at liberty to say... Well, we know there was an incident before you left. That's what led to all of this, isn't it? An incident? Oh, that's rich. And you still think I left your world by choice? Do you want to know the truth? You want to know what really happened? I'm not one of your gods. Perhaps you figured it out as much by now. I never even wanted that accursed title. And when your actual gods caught wind of the new girl who was teaching mortals magic, well, they were having none of that. Magic was supposed to be their domain, the very power and balance that entitled them to rule all of you, in their eyes. But taking away that knowledge of magic I had given the mortals would be a tall order, even for them. It was spreading exponentially, and while they knew I wasn't part of their pantheon, people loved this new goddess of magic, and she was a great PR move. They liked being given credit for what I had done, they just didn't like having me around. So one night, they decided to burn my little magic school to the ground and quietly banish me from reverie. The world would never know. In a single night, it was all gone. A decade of my life up in smoke, and I was left to die alone in the void. I had given this world everything. My time, my magic, my love. But only you only knew how to take. And now... I'm finally taking it all back. Verena, we had no idea. Spare me. I don't need your feigned sympathy. I need your magic. With your magic, I'm going to fix your cruel, broken world, starting with my revenge against your gods. But we had a deal. You get your chance to impress me. Now come on, enough talk. How that you? What is a Harry? A miserable pile of pastel colors. Let's dance. Fine. If fight you want, then it's a fight you'll get. Oh, I should have I should have done some healing before. Um Yeah, I'm gonna open with that. It may be the final boss, but you steal you still make sure to steal from the boss. 
Ah, fuck, I forgot to steal from, uh... Chavez. Man. That makes me sad. Ow. Ooh, we got an elixir. Noted. Okay, so now we can buff Allison and not be too afraid. Do the normal attack. Um, let's kiss Beaverly and let's kiss Faith. In the next turn, we can give AoE Barrier. Um, what? What are you doing? In the middle of our fight? <laughs> Finally, someone comments on everyone smooching. <laughs> Come on, don't hold back. By the power of friendship! I do love how the song is kind of shifting through stuff. Like, now it's in kind of a glitch- Ah. Uh. 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 Mm. Hmm. I guess I'll take this chance to Paladin's Gift. Um, we'll have Allison... Guard... Guard... Guard? I feel like she's about to do some kind of surprise attack. Alright, Allison can do a Blast Heat. Scorcher, and Jody crack the armor. Three of Pentacles. Ooh, we get Tarot in here. Second aid ourselves. Allison can attack. Claire can go for a big ol' Inferno. Judy. Let's refresh Taunt. Oh, I completely forgot about the other layer of defense. Okay, so we're gonna go with a spread the love to Allison. Allison can attack. Claire will scorch. Jody can scrap armor everyone. But she give us some nice flat defense. Oof. Claire, you're getting a bit low there, darling. Incredible. I haven't felt this alive in centuries. You're the most fun opponents I've faced in a long, long time. Guess I can quit going easy on you. Oh shit, second form! Oh fuck, it's a red moon! But hey, all magic is boosted. So, Blast Beat. Attack boost. Jody can... Smooch Face. Just to make sure I have two star power for next turn to refresh my barrier. Ow! That's fucking painful. Allison, let's just attack. Claire can start laying down. Actually, let's smooch so she gets even more magic boost. Faith's shield. We really need to make sure Claire doesn't get sniped if she gets attacked. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, the magic of 
Oh, the red moon went away. All right, noted. Um, we don't need to refresh the attack boost. Let's refresh the taunt while we have a chance. Hopefully Jody gets hit so I can do crack the armor. Come on, come on, hit Jody. You know you wanna, you know you wanna. All right, they didn't hit Jody. Okay, let's refresh Allison's star power again. And let's attack. Scorch. Um, scrap armor. I don't know if there's, like, other tarots, or if Three of Pentacles is the only one she uses. Either way... We're surviving! Alright, I knew... I thought I would need to refresh the attack boost. Let him... Let it rip, Allison! Get her! Okay, let's do Resilient Aura. We'll add Counterattack Stance, and Claire can kiss Beaverly. Jody can kiss Faith. Is that all? <laughs> okay, let's heal everyone. Go for an attack. Let's hit Inferno and refresh Faith's shield. I know she's low on HP, but, you know, no reason to get too cocky. Keep ourselves topped off. Let's have Melody refresh Claire's mana, because that's certain to get a little bit low. And have Allison just go for an attack. Scorch. And we'll just do an attack. Uh oh. Uh oh, phase two. You put up a good fight. It's been too long since I had this much fun. I admire your tenacity. Right back at you. Here, let me pat you up. Many of your techniques are unorthodox on their own, but together, that was something special. You really do look out for each other, don't you? I didn't expect that from you. It's not about any one of us stealing the show. It's a team effort. If we don't look out for each other, who will? Very true. Some fighters never accept that, you know. My queen, are you okay? That didn't sound like the quick trouncing we expected. Oh, we're fine, Shabbos. We had our fight, and we're just chatting. You know, after all that, I think I get you. But I want to hear it from you. Why are you fighting so hard to keep your magic? Don't you understand how much of a burden that power is? The danger involved? It's not that at all. Magic is... Look, this might be weird since we're hardly... We hardly know each other. But I need to explain something to you, Verena. What could you possibly have to say that... Please, I'm curious what she has to say. The thing is... For most of my life, I've been told I'll never amount to anything. That's the path I wanted to take. That the path I wanted to take was wrong. The one thing I ever excelled at, and made me feel like I was doing something right, is magic. Magic is the ability to rewrite your own destiny. 
to become something greater than yourself. You were always kind of my hero, actually, because you taught us that. And I wanted to use that power to better myself and improve everyone's lives. To fight for the people I love. Verena, it seems like you get that too. What you said back in Greenridge about the state of the world, that stuck with me. And now these rele revelations about the gods? We can't fix the whole world on our own, and it sounds like things are even more complicated than we knew. I wouldn't even know where to start, to be honest. But together, maybe we can fight for a better reverie. Oh, come on! What are you doing, Verena? Why are you letting these jerks just talk to you like this? You could atomize them just by blinking. Is that what you think this is all about, Paula? Isn't it? I really have been a fool, haven't I? You know what? Just not feeling it anymore. Not feeling what, my queen? This. Uh, all of this. This isn't right. I was so hurt by what their gods did to me, I wanted to do something about it. To avenge those I've lost. That cruelty was how I remembered this world. But these four... They remind me what I loved about Reverie in the first place. They're good people, Javis. I like them. I still have reasons to be bitter. This plan isn't right. This isn't what Zinna would have wanted. Verena, can I ask you a question? Shoot. What exactly happened between you and Zinna? After talking to both of you, I still feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. Excuse me? No, sorry. It's probably too personal. I shouldn't... No, 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 no. Oh, what did you just say about Zinna? You said you... spoke with her? Yes. Yes, we did. That's... impossible. Zinna was killed a thousand years ago when the gods raised my magic school. Javis, our scouts confirmed when we arrived on Reverie, right? There was no trace of Zinna. Javis? Javis, answer me. I may have left a few details out of that report. What? It was for a good reason, my queen. You were just so passionate about our cause when we came on this revenge plan. You, you'd be in such a funk for hundreds of years, but conquering Reverie gave you a purpose. I've never seen you so enthusiastic. I merely thought that your subjective feelings for the reptile would hinder your decision making. I mean, fair enough. Reptiles can hinder one's decision making. They're, they're very uh, curvy entities, you know, very noodly. So you lied to me. All of this was built on a lie? Exactly! Look at how much we've built on that lie! That's not a good thing, Javis! What the heck? Huh. Uh, sorry, there is an ad coming and I can't delay it. I don't know why, but the tile is missing to delay ads. I was going to tell you eventually, my queen, I swear! Uh, I mean, uh, we were going to tell you! Paula personally met your Zinna and kept it from you! How insubordinate of her! Yeah, I was gonna bring it up, but Javis told me not to. Paula! God, what the hell have I been doing? Okay, enough of this farce. No more talking o taking over the world. What? You heard her, dude. I don't want to hear another peep out of you. I've been trying to build Verena the empire she deserves for centuries. We're operating in a scale your little mortal minds could never dream of comprehending. Countless attempts in countless universes. My queen, please, please reconsider this. After so many years, we're so close! Oh, uh, what about that whole plan to take everyone's magic? To restore the natural order? Paula, nobody cares. Javis, quiet. You really talk to Zinna? How's she doing? She seems well. We've had a few nice chats over tea. Yeah, Zinna's delightful. It's not that hard to see why you got along so well. She does 
miss you, though. But she told us not to mention it because she thought you blamed her for everything that happened. Guess that's not how you really feel, though. No, of, of course not. God, I feel so bad even letting her think that. Okay, look, Jabez, Paula, we're standing down. They won. Let them keep their magic. I don't care about any of this empire nonsense. I just want to see my wife. What? Wait, wife? Hold on. Record scratch. What? Wife? Damn. Let's regroup back in Poxit Dimension for a moment so I can gather my thoughts before cleaning up this mess. Come along, you two. Did we just... win? I can't say I was prepared for this scenario. You know, Claire, that little speech you gave a little minute ago was truly inspirational. The one about magic letting you choose your own path. Uh, thanks? I think you've taught me something today. I'm going to choose a different path of my own. This whole time I've been thinking about what Verena wants. I don't think that's... But what about what Javis wants, hmm? And what I want right now, more than anything, is to wipe this miserable planet from existence. Give it a rest, Javis. We've already beaten you once, and we can do it again. But Clara said it herself. Magic lets you choose your own destiny. And you do realize how much magic is contained within these scramblers. Hey, careful with that, man. Verena would never allow this. But Verena's not here, now is she? Wait. Um. Um. Hey, guys. I don't think things are supposed to look like this. I think the world's a little fucky-wucky at the moment. Alright, so that's a very big warning to not overwrite my save. It's fine, the save point is still pink. You know what? Yeah, we got that going for us. Um, how's my stocks of various potions? Uh, let's get, like, ten more of those just in case. And we'll save again. Verena's certified dragon lover. You know, I know she was stuck into the void for eon- for, for like, a thousand years. But even then, she remembered to renew her monster fucker permit. Okay, you know, just in case. You, know, you gotta- you gotta make sure. Because if you ever let that lapse, you know, you gotta retake- you gotta study, you gotta retake the whole exam. It's so much easier to pay the maintenance fees and turn in the uh, continue education credits um, and just keep renewing it. God damn it, Durengar! <laughs> yeah, got me. <laughs> he has to be here. Correct! Oh, we're going full biblical angel. I feel incredible. The raw power. I should have done this years ago. Hey, come on. We don't have to. Oh, but we do. You've ruined my life. So now I think I'll end yours. Think fast. Haha! <laughs> Struggle all you want! After this, your little town is next! I can't hold it! Gotta call Faith! Jody, is everything. Wait, what is that? Shield now, talk later! This isn't going to hold forever! Did he even feel that? 
How are we supposed to beat something this powerful? Wait, Claire, I have an idea. Do you still have Arana's old spellbook? What? Oh, no way. Absolutely not. You saw what happened to Paula. Powering you and Allison up a second time could kill you. If we don't do anything right now, then Javis will kill us. Allison, are you in? I've got your back 100%, Melody. Fine. Here goes nothing. Oh shit. Oh shit. Allison, if this is it, I'm still glad I did all of this with you. I love you, Allison. I love you too, Melody. Melody, Melody, Melody! So eager to die, are we? You should have known this plan of yours wouldn't... No. No more of this. Hmm? If you want to hurt me so bad, let's see if you can put up a fight. You really think you can get rid of me that easily? You know what? You're right. What? I spent a long time trying to figure out who I wanted to be. To find the perfect answer that would solve all my issues. Allison's girlfriend, an adventurer, a paladin. None of those answers magically fixed me. It's not going to be that easy. It takes time and work and a lot of help. But I don't need to get rid of you all at once. Right now, I just need to shut you up for five minutes. And in this moment, there's no doubt in my mind. I know exactly where I want to be. I want to be... A hero. Oh shit, she's going super lesbian too. It's a level beyond super lesbian. Oh shit! Now they're equipped! You always had a bad memory, Javis. So here's a reminder. My name is Melody Amaranth, Amorous Paladin of the Novas. And if you think you can lay a finger on Reverie, you're gonna have to go through us first. This is it. Novas, let's go. God King Javis appears. Holy, f oh, we got five parted. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, they are fucking ready to slay look at that hp holy fuck all right what, what new abilities do we got okay we got smooch mana drain fight on fully heals the party oh okay that's basically a reset button noted clears corruption on the enemy interesting spread the luck okay Stupid joke time that just hit your brain? Go for it. Alright, so we're gonna smooch Allison. Left burst, right burst, heaven kick. Hell kick. Alright, uh, always steal from the boss. Emo boy motor and the T-girl pipeline. Emo boy modder. I see. <laughs> I see. Alright, Jody, I'm gonna need you to taunt. And now we have faith. So we can just straight up get multi barrier out the bat. Hells to the yeah! Ah, we got an elixir. Noted. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Stop. Stop putting. Stop putting eyes on things that don't need eyes. Okay? Please. Stop. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, the fact that the eye is not an ad. Oh, this is reminding me of when I did a uh, Evangelion um, RPG that I DM'd. Maybe more in the trenches of trans jokes than you thought. Hmm. Curious. Oh, she has five star power, but I mean, I guess I just mana bomb? But, um... Oh, fuck, corruption! No! Alright, we need to clear that corruption. I don't know why I need to clear... Let's restore everyone on my team. Um, let's see what Heavy Kick does. But for the Evangelion, um, one of my... Um, one of the angels that they fought, or rather, I was I was going with a German Nordic themed reflavoring. So one of the uh, uh, let's see, the Evas were Ein Heriar. So I think I was calling them Jotuns. Jotuns. So one of the Jotuns that they fought. Um, I when it comes to Evangelion, my philosophy, because you're basically having the player many players versus one boss kind of encounter. So I like to lean more on kind of puzzle boss-esque mechanics. And one of the things that I had was um, I was very descriptive as to what was the boss, like the boss's appearance, what it was doing, how it was looking, how it was acting, and various effects. And one thing I was making sure to hammer on was every time they wounded the boss, and every time they wounded the Houghton, it was leaking a kind of gas. And initially it provided just, you know, some minor concealments, you know, you know, it's kind of harder to shoot through. Um, so it's like, all right, whatever, there's kind of one thing. But also, every time it got hit, there were various um, sigils that started lighting up on its body. And then when all of the sigils lit up, it basically ignited all the gas. So everything inside the gas was uh, had to make a save versus basically catching on fire. Um, obviously caused a ton of collateral damage in the city because they didn't they didn't like try and lure it away. Um, and I know one of the players got royally fucked up so badly they passed out and their uh, Evan their Iron Harryar their Evangelion um, was on fire. Um, they uh, that certainly started a panic mode because it uh, it kind of fucked up a lot of the city. They ended up taking it out, but. They certainly learned to, uh, pay attention to how I was describing the creatures. Because that was, that was basically the first, uh, first battle for them. Ah, uh, the shields wore off. Alright, Faith, I need you to regenerate the shields. Also, it seems like Faith has permanent 5 star power? Entered Asting. What if I just have Melody attack? What will that do? Actually, hold on. Let's have them smooch each other real quick. Claire, I want you to... Kiss Beaverly. Jody, I want you to... Crack the armor, I guess. Faith, I want you to multi-barrier. Fucking corruption. Uh, I need a fight on. Alright, let's do Lovely Aura because that gives me two charges. Allison, let's put you in counterattack stance, I suppose. And let's just. 
You know what? Let's put scrap the armor power back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Claire. Claire. So close to die. Fun fact about Faith: you only get her if you do her date with Jody. Aww. That's so sweet. I love things like that. I feel like I might have, because I didn't do all the critter quests, I feel like I may have missed on some stuff. And I'm really annoyed if there was a quest to improve Melody's starting weapon, kind of like there was one for Allison's starting weapon. But like no one was responding and it's like, I don't, I don't want to spend a couple hours literally retreading the entire map trying to see if there's maybe someone that does it. I feel crazy. It feels like Melody has half a star power right here. I've seen that a couple times on some things. I don't know how it works. Oh, we need to cure him of corruption, I bet. Um, let's kiss... No, let's attack boost Allison, actually. Hold on. And then Jody can smooch Faith. Faith can mana bomb. Ten percent. Ah. Well, the thing is, is I'm not aware. I haven't been paying close enough attention to realize like what's been giving less than twenty percent um, star power, basically. Heaven kick! Um, and we are going to Inferno your AS. Crack the armor, and then Faith can Guardians aid Claire. So Claire doesn't use her die move. Faith! No! You hate to see it. Um, we need more star power. So, lovely Aura. This funny Benoit does 5 trillion damage a minute, basically. I'm kind of sad she lost her 3 star power ability, because I feel like that would be hella swag. And do some sick nasty damage, but it just isn't to be, it seems. There's a reason for that, I imagine. There's always a reason for something. All the things. And I'll find out eventually. Um, let's restore the scrap armor, actually. Fuck! Hell yeah! Ooh, defense down. I see, I see. Alright, let's go for another aura. Actually, let's fight on his three. So yeah, let's use lovely aura. Let's attack. Claire can attack boost. Jody can crack the armor. Faith can can multi barrier give everybody them shields
All right. All right. You want to have a little go? You want to have a little fight? Javis? You going to get your shit wrecked? Heaven Kick! Meta Bomb! Let's use Fight On. Allison can go for another attack. Flare can just Scorch. Jody can crack. Nope, we don't need to crack the armor. Just kiss Faith. I guess that Faith can't kiss Jody. That's kind of weird. Come on, Javis. Is this all you got? Is this all you got? I'm finding you lacking, Jarvis! You thought you could be top dog. But all you are is a blockbuster rental. And they didn't even rewind you when they returned you. Get bored! You can't see it, but I'm flipping him off. I need the dolly toggle. Verena comes out. Hey, hey guys, what's going on over? Oh. We, we did it. We did it. Whoa, Mel, you don't look to. Don't worry about me. The important thing is that everyone is safe. Mel. Uh, I don't like that snap cut. I don't like that snap cut. I don't like that snap cut. Huh? Where am I? Mel? Allison. All I remember after the fight is everything going dark. It's all a blur to me, too. Did we, uh, did we die? Is this the afterlife? It's my house, actually. Verena! Your house is the afterlife? No! What? No! No, you're not dead. You're in the another dimension. That doesn't help. Your friends filled me in on their power boost when I came back to Reverie. I suppose I missed a pretty big tussle. The adrenaline kept you going long enough to beat Javis, but when that faded, your body started rapidly feeling the effects of mana poisoning. So, long story short, I removed the excess mana and healed you. You should be back to normal now, although you might want to take it easy for a while. Wow, thank you, Verena. You saved our lives. Please, it was the least I could do after all the trouble I caused you. How long have we been out? Only about 15 minutes. Your friends have Javis restrained back in Reverie. We can head back when you feel up to it. Oh, and sorry about him, by the way. I probably should have known he would pitch a fit. I must say, though, I'm pretty impressed. Using my own spell to beat him, huh? Very clever. Uh, thanks. I mean, the irony there! Oh, that's just great! <laughs> Sorry if that sounded a bit evil. Old habits. Only a little. Anyway, make yourself at home. I'll meet you outside. Hey, this looks like a treasure chest from Reverie. Probably should be dig digging through Verena's things, though. No, I want to. I want to open it. What's in it? They have dressers in this dimension. Fascinating. Wait, no, no. Plant. We have similar plants back home, although they aren't pink in our universe. This stuff looks awfully... Wait, 
Is this our gear? Mel, look at this! There it is! The missing stuff from my basement! Never thought I'd see it again. Hold on. Oh. My god. It's all clicking. This is the place where Claire's hammer space spell goes. The one she got from Verena's old spellbook. Claire's been storing our stuff here the whole time. This is how we got Javis and Verena's attention in the first place, isn't it? And Claire's spells being tampered with. It makes all sense now. Ha. Huh. Ooh, a piano. I wonder if Verena plays. Wait, 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 save menu. Oh, such fucking beautiful scenery! Oh my god! I love it. I love it. I love it! We got the space in the background. We have this pink round, the floating aisles. You know, these golden little plants. Like, oh, I love it! Ah, there you are. Glad to see you're back on your feet. Care to have something to drink? You need to stay hydrated when recovering from mana poisoning. I've got tea, although I could also conjure whatever you want. Tea is fine, thank you. It occurs to me that I still have a lot of questions, given everything that's happened. Hydrate? Alright, well I don't have tea. I just have normal dihydrogen monoxide. I haven't had the chance to explain myself. Anything else on your mind before we head back to Reverie? So, how did you and Javis end up teaming up anyway? You seem pretty cool and he... blows. When I was banished from Reverie all those years ago, I was transported by your gods to a sort of dead realm between realms. A purgatory, I guess. Javis was another lost soul banished from a different world. He never told me how he ended up there, but you know how he is. I was capable of warping out of that dead realm, and Javis begged me to take him with me. I didn't know what to make of him, but I also didn't want to be alone. So I let him tack along. You just trusted him like that? Not so much at first, but I knew that if he tried anything, I could just warp him back to purgatory. I mean, the thought of spending centuries with him just sounds like a nightmare. Well, I do sleep a lot, and I did travel a lot without him while he was off trying to build me an empire. You end up seeing a lot of amazing things when you can travel anywhere in the multiverse. You may find this hard to believe, but I haven't exactly spent much time around mortals in the last thousand years. I've been to so many worlds, encountered so many sentient species. But your lives are so short and fragile in the grand scheme of things. Eventually, I just decided that it would be easier to stop caring. That's what Javis believed. And he wasn't haunted by this past like I was. He had a re he had the right idea, I thought. There was something comforting in his silly fantasy of me being a beautiful, terrifying, all-powerful queen who was above it all. But the reason I wanted to take revenge was because I did still care about the people I met on Reverie. And you four reminded me that good people like you do still exist. But. I totally understand if you have a hard time trusting me after all this. We don't have to be friends. Eh, it's not like anyone died or anything. There's an old wizard in Allison's neighborhood who's tried to take over the world like five times before, and we still let him hang around. Oh, you mean Mr. Leon? <laughs> he's great. I think he's genuinely trying to teach his eight-year-old granddaughter how to be a supervillain. Love that for them. You know... I'm starting to think that your town was already insane before Javis and I even showed up. Yeah. Anything else on your mind before we head back to Reverie? It's fine if you don't want to, but can you tell us more about you and Zina? She was... well, she was my first love. I think you understand what that's like. Granted, there have been others since then, and I suspect the same is true for her. But what we had was... special. I met her at a very low point in my life. She was the first person to make me feel like my power wasn't a curse. How could it be when it was the whole reason we met? It took us a while to understand our feelings, admittedly. 
she was so starstruck by my magic and I was so desperate for affection. But I knew her for 10 years. There was plenty of time to figure it out. Of course, I don't know if I could face her now. She could have lived peacefully on that island if it weren't for me and my magic painting a target on her back. Now I've caused all this chaos trying to avenge a woman who wasn't actually dead. I don't know about that last part. Seems very romantic to me. I appreciate you trying to lighten the mood, but she probably doesn't want anything to do with me. I think she does. She misses you, Verena. And I don't think she sees your magic as a burden, either. She's dedicated her life to teaching it to others. But there's only one way to verify how she feels. I know, I know. I suppose she already knows I'm back in town. I at least owe her the courtesy of clearing up things face to face. Thank you for giving me someone to talk about all this, though. Javis doesn't understand any relationship not built around amassing power. Anytime, Verena. There's still something that's bugging me. Specifically, what you said about the gods and what they did to you. Yeah, so like, our gods are... evil? Is it really hard to believe that there are selfish and cruel people in a position of power? Well, when you put it like that, no. They already banished you once, though. Is it safe for you to come back to Reverie? Oh, they probably noticed I'm back. I'm actually shocked we haven't heard from them. Who's counting on that? I thought they noticed Javis undoing their seal when he took control of the tower. But it's been days and we haven't heard a peep out of them. Maybe they don't care anymore. Maybe I was just a minor nuisance to them, and they think I've done my time. I don't know. What I do know is I'm done running from them. Reverie is my home, and revenge schemes are no, I'm not giving it up without a fight. Right on. I'm not sure how much help we could be, but if worse comes to worse, you've got allies in Green Ridge. That's no small smoke. Blah, 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 blah. That's no small promise to make, Melody. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty invincible right now. I feel like I kick a god's ass. See, this is why I like you. Anything else on your mind? You sure you're ready to return to Reverie? We are. Are you? Yes. Let's go home. Aha! He's in the bubble of shame! You're back. You're okay. Don't scare us like that again. Verena! Hello, Javis. We need to talk. I'm so sorry for the insubordination, my queen. It'll never happen again, I assure you. You're damn right it won't. I told you, I'm over the whole queen thing. I'm done with the villain act. I need to move on with my life. I need to have a life on my terms. And you can join me or not. It's up to you. This, this isn't like you. You haven't been yourself since your battle with the beasts. Did you suffer any head trauma in your battle? Did they perhaps wash your brain? What happened to the Verena I knew? The Re Verena you knew was just a shell of a woman indulging in a childish fantasy. That's not true. It wasn't a fantasy. Your power is real. Realer than anyone else's. And what good is power if it's not being used to help those I love? I'll say it again. We're not going back to the way things were. But you can stay or not. Make amends. Live peacefully with your boys. Anything. So they did wash your brain. Claire, come here. I need your help with something. Haha, ha, very funny, my queen. This is the part where you stab the beast in the back and free me, correct? What are you whispering about? Ah! No, 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 no. I'm not being yeeted into the void. He's being yeeted into the void. Javis? Yes? You're fired! What?! Team Rocket blasting off again! Uh, where is he going to land? Hell if I know. But don't worry, he's hardly a threat without a staff, or my resources behind him. Maybe he'll learn his lesson. Maybe he won't. Ah, how dare you know me! 
We're having a serious dialogue here. His choice. I just know I've wasted enough time and energy on that idiot. So... Did we do it this time? <laughs> oh, fine, fine, I'm going through, I'm going through. You guys, we did it. We saved the world. So this is what it feels like. How's it feel? Like every bone and muscle in my body hurts. That's because you two almost died saving us. I don't know what I would have done if Arena didn't... Hey, don't underestimate yourself, Claire. A lesser witch wouldn't have been able to perform that ritual at all. She's one to keep an eye on, Miss Guardian. Way ahead of you. Everyone here, put their lives on the line to protect Green Ridge and all of Reverie. Melody, Allison, I've never seen anything like what you two did. But Claire, you in particular, I have to say, you did great. I'm proud I can say I have an ally like you. Thank you, Faith. That means a lot. But I couldn't have made it this far without all of you. And Melody, thank you for being there for me when I really needed it. That's what friends are for, Claire. Nice to meet you again on better terms, by the way, Verena. Likewise. Oh, and sorry for the whole, uh, you know. How long do you think you'll be in town? I'm here to stay. Reverie is my home. We'll have time to catch up in the future, though. For now... WAIT! Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot about these guys. Yeah, just like our dear old dad. No invite to the final battle? Real nice, Pops. Where is father? Verena kind of blasted him away. Oh. So, what now? Truthfully, I was getting tired of serving father. Our first few weeks of being alive have been spent doing his bidding, but there is much I would like to do on my own. He doted on us, but he never really appreciated our hard work. Nope. Despite all my efforts, he never once admitted I am his favorite. Well, if you just want to hang around and promise not to cause any trouble, I'm sure you're welcome to stay. Right? A fresh start. Uh, sure, why not? Screw it! Yes, I will be the best at hanging around. Mark my word, Harry's. I'll keep an eye on them, don't worry. Now, as I was saying, there's someone I have to see. Take care, everyone. Well, I think it's time for us to head back to Green Ridge. Faith, you think you can warp us home? Actually... If it's okay, I think Allison and I will take the scenic route. Yeah, we'll catch up with you later. Sounds good. See you soon. Enjoy your victory lap, heroes. Nope, oh, sorry. Come on, Mel. Let's go home. Really gives me like filk vibes. Wait, hold on, I gotta talk to the rappers. The heroes return! We've been trying to work on a song to tell the tale of a righteous quest to save you from that prison. Keyword is trying. Turns out it's hard to rhyme with non occludian Looks like trying to finish this song will be our next righteous quest as bards. Wait, I don't know if I'm trying to get to... Uh... 
I don't know if I'm going to. Uh, let's go. Let's go to. Let's go to. Um... Oh, gotta check on Zina. Snarf. Um, Zina was to the right and up. Maybe it's down and then right? Nope, that's to the desert. Maybe it's up. I don't casually ask for project. I don't know where it all leads. There it is. Okay, Verena. This is it. You can do this. No. No, I can't. Melody was probably just saying Zena missed me, just to make me feel better. Or if she does miss me, I'll just scare her half to death popping up unannounced like this. Maybe if I just slide a note under her. If someone... If... If it's you. Um... Hello, sweetheart. It's... Been a while, hasn't it? And then they kiss. I can't believe it. After all these years, I... Never thought I'd see you again. Neither did I. I thought I'd lost you this whole time. So, Verena, I'm... No, I get it. You don't have to say another word. It's been a long time. I know we were married, but I don't expect you to just accept me back into your life like that. I just had to see you again. What? That... No, that's not it. I thought... I thought you hated me because of everything that happened. How could I ever hate you? Because it was all my fault. You taught me the magic. That's what started it all. If I just minded my own business, you never would have been targeted by the gods. All the people we lost that day when the school was destroyed. The blood is on my hands, Verena. I thought that's why you wanted revenge. Not on me specifically, but I started it. What? No, Zena, I was trying to avenge you. I was going to siphon a bunch of magic so I could fight the gods. When I heard that you were still alive, that changed everything. I admit, I have complicated feelings about what happened. But I don't blame you. I could never. I was an adult, and I made the choice to share my magic with you on my own, knowing the risks. Because I loved you. I still do. I still have, all this time. I still love you, Verena. I'm sorry I let you feel that way for so long. If I'd been able to return sooner, I would have, in a heartbeat. But before I came here, I thought you must have hated me because of all the pain I caused you. Never, Verena. You helped bring out something incredible in me all these years ago. Hey, Ray. Uh, we're basically in the epilogue of this game, by the way. But yes, uh, uh, all this, all this slur PG gameplay has started to rub off on me. I may have gone into hiding, but I never let go of my magic. My last keepsake from the time in my life. I've tried passing our teachers on, teachings on to new generations in secret all this time. Not even the gods could keep you down. That's the Zina I knew. So that's not you're here. But now that you're here, what now? I don't quite know. I'm playing it by ear. But I'm back. And I'm not leaving without a fight this time. I don't exactly have a place to stay, though. I hate to impose, but... Oh, come on. You don't need to ask. Of course you can stay. I'll put on some tea. We've got a thousand years worth of catching up to do. Aww. Enjoying the view. Sorry, are we 
Sorry, are we interrupting something? Oh, hey! No, that's okay. I just wanted to give Arena this. Ah, my old spellbook! Now this brings back memories! I think it's best if it returns to its proper owner, rather than staying with me. I've caused enough trouble with it already. You certainly have. Blood Travel started a complex sequence of events that led to me reuniting with my wife. I think you should keep it, Claire. You'll put it to better use than I will. It's the least I can do to show my gratitude. Wow. Thank you, Verena. Actually, on that note, I also wanted to propose something. Oh? I'd like to study magic with you two. There's a lot I still don't know about magic. But I know, know a thing or two about how it's used here on Verevery today. Oh, street level magic, hmm? Fascinating. I was definitely impressed by what I saw on Mount Sappho. And Zina has lost all the formal training. Well, you probably know magic from other universes. Together, I think we can teach each other a thing or two. I think I would like that very much. Likewise, I think that's a wonderful idea. Awesome. Oh well, okay, I'll get out of your hair now. We'll be in touch though. Bye for now, my little protege. You're still trying to be all cool around our students, huh? I can't help it. Uh-huh, sure. We won't bug you for long either. We just wanted to check on you. We hadn't seen Zinna since before the battle, after all. But it looks like everything worked out here. Better than we ever could have hoped for. I look forward to getting to know you all better under... Those dire circumstances. I'm sure you'll all be seeing here around Queen Ridge. It's quite a cozy little town you got there. Maybe I could stand to leave my cave more often too. We'll have to show you around, give you the grand tour. I'm sure there's put there's some new dating spots that haven't been around a thousand years ago. <laughs> yes, perhaps. <laughs> and you're still as easily flustered as always, I see. I can't help it. Well, take care of you two. They're adorable. All of the relationships in this game are adorable. Everyone's amazing. They're all fantastic. I love it. I love them. Good for them. Strench. Alright. Strench and a hydrate. Alright. Oh, I oh, got those hip flexors. Get that H2. Oh! Oh! It's magic! No, it's water! <sighs> Ready to call it a night mail? The irony of it all. We finally get the internet and phone service back. We re we're reconnected with the outside world, and we can't tell anyone about the full story about what really happened. Like anyone would believe us, even if we could. You have a point there. Besides, we know what we did. I'm proud of myself, and for once, I'm not terrified of my future. That matters more than all the external validation in the world, I'd say. Speaking of the future, any big plans for tomorrow? There's a whole world out there for us to see, now that we don't have an apocalypse to avert. God, I haven't even imagined... I haven't... Thanks for the head pass, Erengar. Yeah. God, I haven't even begun to think about that yet. We're really just getting started, huh? But for tomorrow, the main thing on the agenda is going to be sleeping in until noon, and appreciating how comfortable it is in this bed with you. Sounds like a plan. I still just can't believe how incredible you were back there. You were totally fearless. You want to know the truth? I was still terrified the whole time. I think if we, I've got one big heroic moment in, like that in me per year, tops. But maybe that's enough. That's a win in my book, Mel. Well, time for some shut-eye. Good night, Melody. Love you. Love you too, Allison. Ah, are we going to finally roll credits?
Oh, this is the first time there's been like lyrics to the song. It's so hard to be apart. I hope next time you'll stay even just one more day. If it means I can be here in your arms. I don't have arms though. In your arms. I would have liked to have talked to everyone in the epilogue, but I'm gonna be honest, my it's we've been going about five hours, my throat is fucking dead. <laughs> Oh, I, I was I was struggling near the end there to switch voices between characters. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that is probably about ninety percent of Star BG. So thank you everyone who's tuned in. Um, those of you who haven't played it, I hope not too much was spoiled um, because you absolutely should uh, play it yourself. Um, this was a very beautiful game. Um, and a very moving game. I... I love how consistent the through line was of the relationships about communicating with those who matter to you and who you matter to as well. To... Um... It's not a weakness to rely on friends, you know? It, nobody can do everything all the time. And sometimes we just need a, a helping hand. Sometimes we just need a friend. And that can make all the difference. And you need to make sure you are open to that helping hand. Um, it's also very nice, all of the, the love, um, like, you can see, it just drips from every aspect of this game, the love and passion put into it, from the, the character design, the, the humor, the writing, the plot progression, it's just, it's, it's going up there in my, in my, um, my little mini tier list of passion projects. Uh, up there with Cave Story and Dwarf Fortress of just, these games are something everyone should experience at least once. Um, they're not those AAA blockbusters with all the glitz and glam, but they have just so much soul in them that you will find yourself touched having experienced them. So I want to thank, I want to thank Dolly for putting on my radar, I want to thank Glottal as well, because I know you played it too. Um, it really, really pushed me to to definitely get it and slot it in to make sure I, I played the game. I'm definitely happy I, uh, I held myself off of spoilers. There were some really good twists in the plot. Um, and as someone who tends to be a little pickly picky spickler little schmuck um i found the plot twists were very sensible they were very well written they made sense even the ones that i didn't really expect very much um yeah a lot of the games rely on the power of friendship love but this feels hollow this game illustrates why it's important it's not a silly magical thing it helps you push forward despite the hardships and luck exactly exactly ah uh, i i hope I hope these people are able to do more if if they want to. So they don't need it, but they certainly have good heads on their shoulders. Hello, this is Drecky of the post-production. Thank you for watching or listening to this series. Whether it was background noise while you worked, experiencing a game vicariously, or you just like my thoughts and reactions. Feel free to leave a question, comment, or suggestion of a similar game if I haven't played it. I stream on Twitch as Drecky Ormer if you wish to see things live and unedited. Regardless, 
Have a great rest of your time zone, and I appreciate the time we shared. Bye!